Hi guys, Dane here and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. It is currently 11.15pm on the evening of Sunday the 1st of January 2023. Um, I am reading uh, Project Hail Mary by Andy Weir. I'm about 40 pages or something from the end. Really enjoying it. It's on course for 4 out of 5. Review will be coming soon so keep your eyes peeled for that. Up next I'm probably going to read, I've got part one of the June graphic novel so I'm probably going to read that next. Um, Shay is just headed back to her place, she might be coming back around later as well, we'll see. Um, and then her aunt comes back from holiday tomorrow, she did some painting yesterday which was cool. Played a bit of Wii earlier, we went to Weatherspoons for some food. I'm now very full. That's what I got for you. Dane reads. Hello, it is uh, Wednesday the 4th of January at about 25 past 7. I've managed to fix my sleep, so I actually got up, I think, about 10 today, but I have been getting up as crazy as, like, 5 a.m. and stuff. Um, mostly been being productive this week. I've been doing a lot of music. I'm trying to push ahead so that I'll be uh, a month ahead on all of my to-do list and to try and stay a month ahead. It then kind of gives me some breathing room so that if anything goes wrong and I'm ill or something, I can take time off without feeling too bad about it. Um... And it's just nice to have all of that stuff in hand. It kind of means then, like, for example, with my computer stuff, I have some uh, social media posts to schedule from my Facebook page. And that's literally it. Other than that, I'm then a month ahead and I can just focus on doing some editing, which is very exciting. Speaking of editing, I've been working on um, uh, Boys in Blue, which is Lightfold book number four. So I had that back from my editor, Pam. Uh, I've gone through and processed all the smaller stuff, so now I just have the larger rewrites to do. And then when I get back that, that back to her, it's going to go through copy editing, and then I'll give it one last read through before I send it over to Encircle Publications. So hopefully that'll be out this year. I don't know. I don't know what their publishing schedule is like. Um, I've also been editing some of Monsters of Rock as well, which is like a standalone comic fantasy novel, I suppose you would call it. Um, this is the one about the, the band where they're all like, you know, there's a troll on bass and an elf is the keyboard player. The lead singer is uh, a dwarf called Groen Gonadsen. Um, so yeah, that's all very cool. Been doing some jogging as well, got all my housework done. So everything is all pretty much in order. Um, reading wise, I read uh, Frank Herbert's Dune, the graphic novel book one, which was a four out of five, very good review coming soon. I'm currently reading Dune, the graphic novel book two, Mwadib. Um, also on course for a four out of five, although I won't be reviewing this one just because there's not too much to say about it. It is all very beautifully done though. It's like some like really cool illustrations of the sandworms and things like that. Um, and yeah, it's just really good. It's broken up, so there's three of them, because the original Dune book is broken up into three sections. One graphic novel per section. And I'm just really enjoying it. It's nice to go back to the original Dune. Um, I also read, uh, what is it, uh, Jack Pumpkinhead of Oz by Ruth Plumley Thompson, which for me was just a three out of five. It's book 20-something in the Oz series. And at this point, I'm just still reading it because I've started this series, and I feel like I might as well go ahead, go ahead and complete it now. But yeah, it was just alright. No review of this one. Uh, I didn't feel like... I've done a lot of Oz reviews so far, but I don't, I'm running out of things to say about them because they're so derivative at this point. They're so like... They imitate what came earlier. Um, especially because you've got Ruth Plumley Thompson kind of continuing where Al Frank Baum left off after he died. So it's one author imitating another author who himself was imitating himself by by the time of his death, you know? Um, and so because Joel Swagman, who I originally started doing this as a buddy read with, he's no longer reading at this point, so I figure there's not much point in me doing full reviews of them. Um, but also I have this big backlog of reviews that I need to edit and get out, so I figure I'm gonna be fairly limited on what I review for now until I've caught up with these other reviews. Um, because I don't have much space on my Mac and it's kind of exploding. Oh, I've been editing some um, radio shows as well. I'm over a month ahead with those too, which is all good. So that's where I'm at. Hello, it is me. It is uh, half past seven on Thursday the 5th of January. I've mostly just been being productive. Got a few more of my rewrites done. Um, what else have I been doing? A little bit of housework here and there. I need to go to the post box in a bit to post some eBay parcels. I'm currently watching Rob Scallon on YouTube. I'm watching his album in a day 22 with Andrew Duong where they literally write and record an entire album in one day. Always a lot of fun. I'm about halfway into that. It's about an hour long, so I'm enjoying that. I'm currently reading The Wind in the Willows by Alan Bennett. So this is a stage play based on the novel The Wind in the Willows. Um, and as usual with Bennett, some of the most interesting stuff is actually in the introduction, but I am enjoying it a lot as well. You can see I've been tabbing it out, so I'll be doing a review of this soon, but it's on course for a four out of five. I only have about 30 pages left to go. And then I think I'm going to read Bonjour Tristesse by Francoise Sagan. So that is currently the plan. I'm going to go and do a bit more productivity. 
Wish me luck. Hello, it's me. It is currently 7pm on Friday the 6th of January 2023. Um, I finished reading fucking whatever it was. It was good. Oh, bonjour tristesse. Yeah, I finished reading that. That was a 4 out of 5. Did enjoy. Um, and now I'm currently reading The Madness of George III by Alan Bennett. It's on course for a 3 out of 5. Um, so far the play is pretty good, but the introduction was underwhelming, which is kind of a shame, because I normally really enjoy Bennett's introductions, but this one's been a bit of a bit of a lackluster, you know. Um, just been being productive. I watched some TV yesterday. I watched a documentary maybe on Chernobyl and then I watched Terror at the Mall, which was about the Kenya shopping mall uh, terror attack. It was actually really harrowing. I do recommend it, but probably don't do what I did and watch it right before going to bed because then you'll have anxiety sleep again, which is exactly what happened to me. Um, but I survived. I'm now cracking on. Um, as I say, I'm being productive. Just got a few filming bits left to do and then I'm all up to date on that. A uh, couple more scenes to write for the edited version of Boys in Blue, which is like fold number four. And then that's going to go off to Pam, my editor, for copy edits and a second pass. She then sends it back to me. Um, I make any final changes, then I read back through it and give it my final read through. And then it goes off to Encircle Publications and then their editor has a pass on it and eventually, hopefully, it comes out. Um, other than that, I guess soon I'm going to start continue well continue editing monsters of rock as well so that is good um yeah that's all i got for you hello everybody it's your boy dane it is currently 7 30 p.m on sunday the 8th of january i'm reading smut by alan bennett it is very good it's on course for far five out of five i'm really enjoying it i finished the first novella in it which was fantastic and now i'm on to the second one um uh, does what it says on the tin it's kind of smutty raunchy stories but not so bad that you can couldn't give them to your grandma and just alan bennett at his best so it's really good stuff up next, I think I'm going to read The Writer in Disguise, also by Alan Bennett. We will see. Um, and yes, I think that's all I've got for you. Uh, Shay came over yesterday and we played some Wii, which was nice. Hung out. She went back this morning. We went to um, Ruby Moon, which is like a local hippie shop. And I got myself a new pendant. Uh, Shay got a new pendant as well. We both got some incense. That was nice. Then we went to Tesco to get some other bits. I've been working and editing and doing all of that stuff. Um, I'm about to go and lie in my bed and watch Netflix and do some more work on my laptop as well. So, I'm going to love you and leave you. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that subscribe button for more and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.